Hey, what's up guys? Sorry for the brief last of commentary. My name is Flood7. I hope you guys are enjoying the match so far. Uh, I just came in and it's 0-0 zero, zero right now. But right now it's tied, actually dead even. Yeah, Vanilla has been so on point with these fairs right now. Just facing them so correctly. And you can see that Bao is just struggling to get in right now. Yeah, just trying his best to keep him trapped with the ledge battle fights out. And what an up smash. Just covers it. Notices that Vinay has been jumping a lot, trying to space those aerials. And he just rips off the anti-air up smash just perfectly. Now, you know, this is his chance. Build some extra damage. All right. Yeah, right now, Bound is looking for some, you know, solid confirms. Maybe something off his down throw, up throw. Something to get something started so he can just get the ball rolling. You know, Rage might affect a little bit of his combos. And good DI is not going to call him taking off the top there. Oh, this should be a kill. Or not. He goes for the grab. Oh, okay. Up throw at 186. Going to take him off the top. And now it's even. Bow recentering himself in the cam. Wow, I'm actually kind of surprised that he was able to punish that SMG. He's just notorious for just being so smart. Good nair, back air, solid confirm from Bow. Yep, and here's where Nia is so strong. Just at the ledge and an edge guard. Not going to get that window. Great awareness to go high. He would have definitely died to that down smash. Would have been lights out, and he recognized that. Went high, dropped down safely, and now Bao in such an advantage state. Wolf at the ledge is no joke. Tries to go for an up smash again, but it's not going to work out. Oh, and the offstage bear, just going to take it. You know, and it seemed like Bao was in like such good control for a majority of that last stop. But like I said before, Vanilla is just so strong when it comes to you know guarding at the ledge and then going off stage and edge guarding. You know, new Bao that has been dipping low for his recoveries. You know, as Wolfie don't really have that many options to go high consistently, and he just read it like a book. But uh, even then, Bao kept it extremely close. Just realizes that he needs to switch up his game plan when he's off stage just a little bit more. You know, try to mix it up as much as he can. And they go back to PS2. So this just tells you that Bao is just extremely confident in his gameplay right now. And he's like, no, it's not the stage, it's just me. I just need to readjust, figure some stuff out, and I'll be I. Yeah, Vanilla just loves to go deep. Yeah. Right now, Bao taking a solid damage. Really just all of that off the stage. Just from sheer edge guard. Not even any like, you know, crazy combos just coming out. Just constant being put in disadvantage. And Vanilla just applying the pressure. Baiting out these air dodges. Not going to get anything off of it. Is at the ledge again, trying to read the grab. What a down smash. Reads the roll right behind him. Yeah, there have been a lot of trades happening between these two characters. Out of the two, I would definitely say Greninja has better disjoints, but even then they're just up so up close scrappers that you're just gonna see a lot of these things happen unless he gets hit for somewhere in fair. Oh, he had the air dodge right there. Didn't pull the trigger on the fair. Oh, that's not going to kill. Oh, okay. Double side B. And wow, from across the stage, that kill. That might have been a little bit susty eye on Bao's part, but even then, like I, I was just about to say, he has such a high percent that it's not really that much of a deficit. He just wipes it off with the fair. Oh, no. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Yeah, air to off stage, and, you know, that's... That's definitely demoralizing at this stage. Your second stock being so important. And now Vanilla's basically on a threshold while Bao's gonna have to fight this all the way back from one stock. But if there's any character that can do it in this game, you know it's Wolf. Like, we've seen this character get so many crazy low percent kills. I wouldn't be surprised if at all if Bao brought this back. And already, you know, looking for the roll and read for the down smash, looking for these tech chase situations. He knows how potent that down smash is. You can just get it. It's gonna tie this up. But Vanilla is not gonna let him, not gonna let do it. Recognizes that he has a lead. Just gonna try and space stuff out. Bao is just trying to claw his way back. Oh, oh, that could have been deadly. The air dodge off the stage. If Vanilla was just a little bit more ballsy, he probably could have gone for it down there. 
Yeah. And right now, this is prime position for Bao. Mia at 140. One, I'm sorry, 104% at the ledge. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. Wolf Flash on stage. Oh, Up Smash is going to take it. Wow. That Up Smash, the top hit is so deceptively strong. It'll just wipe stocks away. Now, Bao down 80%, but he's done a remarkable job. Because you got to remember, Vanilla was at zero before. But now, like I said before, Vanilla at the ledge. But he's going to fight his way back into central stage. Bao is trying to see if he can get any damage. There's a fair opening things up. Up, Two fairs and an up fair leading into a bear. Bao has dropped his back. Is he dead? No, he's not. Vanilla just standing there. And he gets, he gets chucked in the face for it. Good air dodge for him to up air. I would have killed him. Up smash. Bow. Bringing it back. That's what I like to see. Down two stocks. Doesn't lose composure. You know, and we said if any character can do it, it's Wolf. You know, just the kill potential. The kill power on this character is ridiculous. Vanilla, you know, he's all smiles. You know, maybe on the outside, maybe on the inside, because he was up a really decent amount. You know, just no damage at all after that unfortunate SD and bow. Wow. You now, that's a prime example of, you know, mental, mental fortitude right there. Stop the battle. Ren and they, of course, are going to run it back. Well, I'm curious to see where we need a count to pick, too. Oh, okay, count. Yeah, that makes about sense. Three, two, one. Go! We're going right back into it. Down smash into the sour spot of up smash. Yeah. And Fair has just been so huge for Bao and Wolf and It just opens up into so many different other options. Right now, Bao putting so much pressure on Vanilla. Oh! That's tragic. And Bao just muttering to himself right there, knowing that, you know, he had a really, like, decent lead, and then he just kind of threw it away. But, you know, we just saw last game, he kept his composure, brought it back, and the situation isn't so dire as it was before. So we have no reason to doubt him right now. Nia might be looking to make a statement saying, you know what? I already lost one lead. Maybe a couple leads this set. I'm not about to lose another one. Probably going to try and stretch this play style. Let's come and see. Double fair. Yeah. Oddly enough, I wonder... Benia oh. Yep. And right now, Benia is just reading him like a bug. Just catching these air dodges. Yeah, Bao definitely has to wipe the stock off, like, right now. You know, at 130, a variety of things from Wolf will kill. And really, he can't afford to really take any more percent on the stock. Because right now, he's actually at kill percent for Greninja right now. Like a solid F smash, fair at the ledge with all this rage. You have a kill, but you know what Bao says? He's like, you know what? No more rage for you. I'm wiping that stock off. And right now, we're set up back at two stocks apiece. I was going to say, I'm really curious as to why Vinny has been using you know, Water Shuriken that much as a spacing tool. Well, it's just a mix-up option. But I guess he doesn't need it. All he needs is that fair. And with the drop zone fair, he just takes it. And we're back at the same situation, the exact same we were at last game right now. Except this time, Vanilla trying to make sure we don't get a repeat. Going to use this lead to his advantage, and it's already working. Bow at 46% on this last stock. Vanilla just barely getting touched. Yeah, Bao's definitely getting kind of flustered right now. He's making a lot of ill-advised air dodges and a lot of ill-advised fares. Right now he's at 120. He's looking dire. And that, is that going to be it? That, not going to be a great DI. Great going high. Up throw's not going to kill. Going to go for the back throw for the position. gonna go off stage. Oh. oh wow. Wait. Oh okay. Walkman coming up. Dang. You know what? Vanilla has been so good. Just utilizing 
utilizing the lead he was given. You know, we didn't see much of that in game one or game two. Or rather, game two, I believe, when, you know, he was up that, you know, massive amount. But we saw it here right now, and he just, yeah, just kept the lead. Unfortunate SD by Bow in the beginning, but, you know, it happens. You got to be on your best behavior. You got to be on your on your best game. The good stuff from Bow. Definitely going to see him in losers. He, you know, had a ridiculous comeback in game two. You know, a lot of people definitely would have counted him out, but... You know, he kept his composure, and that's going to serve him well going forward in the bracket. But gets up to Vinium, moving forward in winners. And up next, we got Blazing Pasta.